Hello and welcome to Video Revealed. I'm Colin Smith. Let's have a look at the brand new LucidLink panel right inside Adobe Premiere Pro. All right, if you don't know what LucidLink is, it's a new advanced cloud storage platform that is just way better than anything you've ever seen. Video editing on the cloud is not an easy thing to do, but LucidLink makes that work. I have a whole other tutorial where I'm editing a, a project uh, with uh, my buddy Dave Helmley at Adobe. He's 500 miles away and we're both editing as if the files are next to me on a local hard drive. The way that we were working at that point was there was no way inside Premiere Pro to uh, look at the status of files. So since then, it, uh, LucidLink has worked with Adobe and released this new panel inside the program so that you can see the access, uh, the status of the files that you're working with. Because what's really important is you, you had before you you just dealt with the the cache system in uh, uh, Lucid Link, but now you have control, so you can turn your local cache up, and now you can pin clips. And pinned clips are local and on the cloud, uh, but local means that those particular files are gonna be quicker than maybe some other projects. Because you can have as many projects in your workspace as, as you want, but making them fast and making the current ones um, a higher level of importance is easier. Let me just show you in the LucidLink panel where I've, I've changed my local cache to 25 gigabytes. Um, because I've got tons of room here, uh, instead of five gigabytes, I turned it right up. So to turn on the LucidLink panel, you install it from LucidLink, and then in the window menu, extensions, LucidLink, and it comes up. Of course, you can resize this, and you can see it's loading all of its information right now. Um, this is the work uh, file space that I have, and you can see there's the pin data, and how much I've used from my local cache, 8.63 gigabytes out of my total 25. In this project that I'm working in right now, I've got four uh, uh, sequences. If I jump to another sequence, you see how it jumps up to the top. And over on the right, it tells me the status of these uh, pins so that a partial white means that these are partially pinned, not all of these are pinned. And I can also click in here and open up a clip view. I can also pin all the clips, unpin all the clips, and I can cache the clip ranges. And it says beta right now, so this will be updated. I can also pin the proxies if I had them. I'm not using proxies right now, but if I open clip view up, I can see for, for uh, this is battle three, there's all of the clips, and you can see I haven't pinned some of them. Some of them are pinned, and some are not. So that's where you get that partial pinning. Some of these were added. So the whole idea behind this is that I can be working with someone else in a remote location, or even a whole group of editors, and we can all be using these files uh, at the same time. Um, we're not gonna be opening the same projects. That project will be locked. Someone can open it up. Uh, you can also use this for team projects where you're sharing projects. You can also use this for production. So this is no different than a local storage, a local hard drive, but it's up there on the cloud and it's it gives you much more status. And you can see this icon here is telling me that this particular file, this one right here, is not in the workspace. So when you're working with um, LucidLink, you're putting everything in the LucidLink drive. So if we go back to my disk, you can see I'm on my work drive. This is LucidLink. These are all my local drives. This is all in the cloud. And what you can do right here, right from the Windows Explorer or from the Mac Finder, is you can right click and pin a, f a file, a whole folder, unpin, and copy that link if you want to uh, send that to someone else. Now, one tip I wanna give you, I am on Windows 11 here, and Windows 11 uh, uh, context menu hides some of the extra stuff, so it, it's, oh, well, I'll show you. If you right click, 
you have to go to show more options and then you get to this. But if you hold the shift key down and right click, you can get to the Lucid uh, options right away. This is a way for you to pin directly in the desktop. Um, and then once you're pinning those, they will be locally cached and just much faster um, if you wanted that local access. And if you're offline, they're locally cached. So this one, as I said, is not pinned. So I could find this one in Explorer, copy that, go to Battlefield, paste that in, and uh, just open this up again, open up the panel, and refresh the directory, and we'll be able to see that that clip is now in the right place in the Lucent Link workspace. And I just needed to refresh that and you can see. So closing that panel and opening it, uh, refresh that so you can see that everything now is in the right location. You can also search uh, for anything here. So searching for troops, there's that file right there. I can open that in the source monitor. So you can do that with any of the clips here. You can open that clip in the source monitor, even though it's on the Lucent Lake drive. Oh, I'm not sure why I closed that. Let me open up the Lucid Link panel again. Open up the uh, clip view. You can also get clip info. And it shows the path, the file space you're working on. You can copy that link. If you want to share that, what's the media type and whether it's a proxy or not. If we go to our settings, you can optimize all the settings. So the audio waveforms, um, right now it says the automatic generation of waveforms for all media in the project degrades performance. Disabling this will still allow generation of waveforms on a per clip basis as they're opened. So I've had this project open already, but with this turned off, you'll see no audio waveforms. And as the playhead is moving, it builds that waveform. So you can click on the optimize all the settings to enable that. Uh, collaboration, this prevents corruption due to multiple users opening the same project. This creates a lock. And XDCAM seeking, this shortens the amount of time to open XDCAM MXS for the, uh, MXFs for the first time. It may cause seek times to increase slightly. So just good ways to, um, to work with that. And then this whole thing is playing back uh, from Lucid Link but it's playing back as if it's local and it's just uh, a great way to work. So it's completely cross-platform. Um, I don't have to worry that I'm on Windows and someone else is on the Mac. All of the file systems, all of the path names, all of the locations are all taken care of. So we're not going to have any conflicts that you would have maybe on a local uh, server that you're both accessing. So like I said, I've got a link in the description of me editing 500 miles away just to show you exactly what Lucid Link is. You can really use it for anything. It's not just for Premiere Pro. It's a cloud storage system system that people all over the world use in, in many different uh, types of businesses. But in here, it works perfectly with a collaboration uh, in Premiere Pro. In a single project, team projects, or productions, it's all going to work uh, so well. Download it, try it out yourself today, and see what you think. Now with the new project panel, or the new uh, Lucid Link panel in Premiere Pro, wow, makes a huge difference. 
Hey, if you're new to video revealed and you found this informative, take a moment and subscribe. You want to support us more, you can do that on videorevealed.com slash shop. Donate once or monthly, any amount. We do appreciate all of our wonderful donors and everyone that supports us. Go to videorevealed.com to download a bunch of free stuff. Till next time, I'm Colin Smith and it's my job to keep you abreast of all the new technology that's not only in Adobe projects, but in other companies like Lucid Link.